Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. All right, y'all. I appreciate seeing all y'all out here tonight. We're going to get it started in a little bit. For now, we're going to get some chance going. But right now, we are here for a purpose. This is not show up just to, you know, take your pictures, do your little press report, do whatever it is. No, we are here to do the work. Day in and day out. The fight did not stop. The fight is not just Memphis. It is not just Atlanta. It is not just L.A. It is right here in New York City, and it is all across this country. And so we are here in solidarity, and we are here to do the work. Woo! Come on. But we are here. Because once again, a black man has been killed. Right on live TV. Everybody waiting yesterday like it's a movie premiere. Because you know it's going to happen again. And you know it's been happening. The question is, why are y'all just here now? And the reason that we are here tonight, we are going to say his name. So when I say, say his name, I want y'all to say, Tari Nichols. Say his name! Tyree Nichols! Say his name! Tyree Nichols! Say his name! Tyree Nichols! Tyree Nichols was 29 years old. I stand here 25 years old. I see folks out here 19 and younger. I see all people fighting intergenerationally. Decades and decades. Because when I first saw this video, when I sat down to watch it last night, they lynched that man. They lynched that man. And these pictures, I heard his family say they just want us to see what happened. To understand. They want us out here, and we are going to be peaceful tonight, but we are going to make our voices heard. We are going to shake the roof. The reason we are peaceful tonight is because that is what the family asked for, and that is top priority. Nonviolent. Nonviolent. However, do not be calm. Do not fall back. Tonight, we need to stand up for justice every night after this, too. This fight did not start yesterday. It didn't start. This It took two weeks before y'all came outside. It took the video. We wasn't out here in mass two weeks ago. Let's be real, right? We need, right now, solidarity. So... One time right now for Tyree Nichols. Say his name. Tyree Nichols. Say his name. Tyree Nichols. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. And fuck them racist ass police. Now listen, y'all. It's going to get hot. It's going to be a little hot today. I'm feeling a little bit spicy, right? I'm a generally smiley person. But I'm not in the mood to smile tonight. I'm not in the mood to have fun. I'm not in the mood to sing and dance and have fun. And y'all know how we do. We like to have fun in New York City. But tonight, I'm in the mood to fight for justice. I am in the mood to take us out into the streets and to do the work. The work that was set here before us by our ancestors. And I'm saying our ancestors. I want to be real specific. This would not have happened in a white neighborhood. I had reservations about coming here and doing this in Washington Square Park. Because y'all the same ones that left. Y'all threw a party after the election and dipped. Where y'all been at? Because we've been outside and it's been our people dying. This would not happen in a white neighborhood. This happened in a residential neighborhood full of people and nobody came outside. Not till y'all had a video. And it is time to end that. Stand up and fight back. Mm -hmm. When black lives are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Alright, y'all. I'm up here rambling. I wanna give I wanna keep this energy going. Hello, baby. Hello.
always bro, of course. I, I want to hold space for something. I feel in my heart. I want to share with wrong. everybody here. Wrong it's really wrong. important. Wrong is wrong. Okay. Wrong is wrong. No matter how you put it, wrong is wrong. Everybody. No matter what it is. Everybody, wrong is wrong. I think it's important that we use this as an opportunity to talk about the importance of community care. Those black men who were responsible for Tyre's death, they did not exercise community care. They fell into the trap of the system, the same system that wants us to marginalize and be pitted against each other and kill each other needlessly, day in and day out. We do not deserve to fall victim to that mindset of state violence. It kills us passively, aggressively, actively, and proactively. It murders us. We need to end the mindset of state violence in our communities, in our hearts. We need to stop policing one another. And when we say love each other, that means being right here, right now, standing in solidarity. Because it will not end tonight. It will end within our lifetimes. That's why we have to fight every day. We have to keep that mindset of community care present in our actions. Okay. Because you can work for the state and look just like me and hurt me and kill me. Next. We need to talk about how this is a pattern. Tyre Nicholas deserved better. He deserved to be alive. He deserved to be alive. He did not have to deserve, his family did not have to deserve this pain and this loss. We need to end state violence. How it affects us day in and day out. We need to talk about solutions because I believe that same lack of care that was exercised on those officers' part, they deserve that care. They deserve that therapy. They need to know how they affected the family of Tyre Nicholas. They need to take accountability. They need to realize the role that they played in perpetuating that harm. It does not end because they were black and they were police officers and they were put in the system of incarceration that just disappears people. There needs to be accountability. We don't need blame. We need justice. Justice in personable terms. That's what his family deserves. Say his name. Say his name. Tyree Nichols. Say his name. Tyree Nichols. And when we say no justice, no peace, in my heart, there's two meanings to that. We will know justice and we will know peace. I say. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. We will know justice and we will know peace. I say. I say. That's right, Queen. Woo! Let's yeah. go, make some noise for our sister right here. Yeah. Yeah. What she just said is so on point, yo. This is not time to go jump on the black officers when y'all have not been jumping on everybody else. We need to stand in solidarity. And I say that, I say we will have justice. But we need to understand, ain't none of those cops, I guarantee you, ain't none of those cops join that police force thinking they want to kill black people. Y'all need to understand that policing across this country is designed to make you kill black people. It is designed to say you want to do good for your community, but now you have to go police them. You have to make arrests. You have to be the Scorpion Crime Unit and sting them in the nighttime and do all that, right? Right. You got to join SRG because the, the community needs SRG, right? No, we need people no. to help us out, you know, when we're walking. Hell no. Because every time when you see these units pop up, when you see this shit happen, it happens because this system is still killing us. Y'all can turn the TV off. Y'all can think everything is okay. Y'all can talk about, oh, crime is up, bail reform, this and that. All the cops are out on bail. Right now. And Tyree Nichols is dead. There are 
they're out on bail. Why? Because taxpayers paid their salary. And then taxpayers paid their bail. Money. Uh-huh. And they took that money and used it to buy the mace to pepper spray him. To buy the batons to beat him. The boots that kicked him. They murdered this man. And it is by design. So this is not a one-off protest. This is not, and I know people are going to say, well, why the fuck we marching in New York City? Nah. We have to be radicalized. We need to be radicalized. We need to do this every night, every day, until there is justice, until there is freedom, until our people are no longer dying, until it's no more names that we have to add to this damn list. I'm about to have a daughter, y'all. Tyree Nichols had a four-year-old child. My girl hugged me before I left. She said, be safe. And I said to her, it's not me you got to worry about. It's them. It's the police who I'm sure waiting off in the corners. I seen the little group checking everybody coming, walking in. I see y'all. It's y'all. Y'all the problem. It's horrible what happened to that Very horrible. All right, y'all. We about to switch the mic real quick and get the sound better. But real quick, I need I need y'all. Hands up. Don't shoot. Fist up. Fist up. Right now, we are going to hold a moment of silence while we change the mics, while we get everything ready. And we're going to hold the space right now. We are going to say the name of Tyree Nichols. We're also going to say the name of Keenan Alexander. We are going to uplift the name of all of these victims of police brutality, of all of these people continually killed. So right now, we're going to start with Tyree Nichols, and then I want y'all just continue saying names. Tyree Nichols. Tyree Nichols. Y'all keep saying names as y'all need it. George Floyd. Tortuguita. Emmett Till. Ayanna Stanley Jones. Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor. Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland. I'm being locked. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon. Sean Bell. Sean Bell. Mikey Rosado. Tatiana Jefferson. Damn Roy Henry. Damn Roy Henry. Tamir Rice. Tamir Rice. I'm going to do Diallo. And the people before that. You know, the people before that. And everybody before. Before that. And unfortunately, everybody after. Until we rise up and that we make this change. Remember what happened in the city. It was brutal back then. Keep saying names, y'all, while we keep holding this space. I need y'all to remember why we are here, because it is time to be intentional. It is time to do the work. And it is time to honor their names and their legacies forever. George Floyd. George Floyd. I'm going to do Diallo. I'm going to do Diallo. Eric Garner. Eric Garner. Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor. Amir Lowe. Amir Okay. No justice! No peace! No justice! No 
peace. No justice. No peace. Fuck these racist ass police. No I said no justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Fuck these racist ass police. So. I'm going to hop on the mic real quick. I want y'all to understand. I walked away and just had like three conversations in the amount of time y'all was still saying names. And we missed some. There's a lot. <laughs> this is too many to count. And because of that, there's so many we don't know. And because of that, we continue to fight. And we use all the strategies in our toolkit. Because we cannot afford to not fight back. So with that being said, I want y'all to give a warm round of applause to someone who does this work continuously, who is out here in these streets, who did not have to be here. We will pass the mic off to our council member, great council member from District 36, Chio Say. Thank you, Zay. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. If we don't get it, shut it down. If we don't get it, shut it down. I said if we don't get it, shut it down. Yo, we've done this before. We were out here two years ago during a summer advocating for the same shit. And what's changed for the better? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely a lot of folks will tell you that this is an isolated incident within Memphis. This is not an isolated inci incident out of state. This is a countrywide, nationwide, worldwide problem. Yeah. We see the pattern. People are saying that justice was served because those cops were fired and will potentially go to jail. Mm -hmm. Justice was not served. Mm -hmm. We still have bloated police budgets, not only in Memphis, but also here in New York City. Yeah. Now this crowd here is not a large crowd. This crowd isn't even as large as some of the crowds that showed up in 2020. So I want to leave you with something that we can move forward on every day after this because these crowds aren't going to, are going to be what changes our system or what changes our city. How many people showed up to City Hall last year to protest against the city's budget? Does anyone know what happened with the city budget last year? The mayor and this administration defunded our schools and increased the police budget once again. Where were we then? Where were all of us then to hold elected officials accountable that were running in 2020 that said they were going to cut or vote against an increased police budget? Just because this murder happened in, in, in Memphis doesn't mean our job here is done. We have so much work to do here in New York City. Only six council members out of 51 council members voted against the police budget last year. And they cut funding from our baby schools. The reason why we see black death like this happen to Tyree Nichols is because we have moderate Democrats and Republicans that are so quick to ignore accountability measures that need to be put on policing systems. We have people in office that ignore and, and rather cut the funding of our schools and put more money into the pockets of a militarized police force. Are we going to let that happen? No! I don't believe you. No! You know why? Because we showed up in 2020, we said the same shit we're saying right now, and we let them cut money from our schools. We let them increase the police budget once again. So we need to hold our city council accountable. You can hold me accountable. I voted against the budget last year, but continue to hold me accountable because we have another budget coming up this year in June. And I want to see every single one of you out there reaching out to your elected officials, making sure that they do right by you and the people of New York City. If this can happen in Memphis, it can happen in New York City. And it already has. It already has. What's stopping them from this happening again? There was whiplash after we showed up in 2020. Every single politician ran on police reform and racial justice. And then once the right started calling them socialists, they said, fuck black people. They said, let those budgets grow. They said, ignore any accountability measures that need to be put on the NYPD. And because of that, 
We have idle cops. We have a large police budget. And we have less money going into the schools of black and brown communities here in New York City. So we can show up and chant and say names. And I know so many people here may not believe in democracy, and I don't blame you. You know, we have elected officials that disappoint us year in and year out. But I beg of you, if there's something that you leave with here today, there is work that is, is being done within our city government. Last week, the city council moved a hearing to allow the NYPD to stand before the people and speak about the strategic response group. We need to be out there to advocate to, to disband the NYPD strategic response group. Did you know that last year the NYPD spent over $360 million of your taxpayer dollars on overtime? We need to show up and hold the mayor accountable, hold our elected officials accountable, because they are all standing up with statements today about how this is disheartening and they believe in racial justice and police reform, but do nothing of the sort. So when you go home tonight, the work really starts and calling those offices, and showing up to those offices, and knocking on doors, and making sure that they feel the pressure that we are presenting here tonight. Mm -hmm. So what do we want? Justice! And when do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! And when do we want it? Now! If we don't get it, shut it down! If we 